Merci beaucoup tout le monde. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining us uh, here today at Fanshawe College. Uh, it's great to see so many people here, uh, distinguished guests, uh, students who are enjoying a morning uh, without classes, apparently. Uh, and uh, uh, of course, I'm joined here uh, by my friends and colleagues. Uh, first of all, uh, President uh, Devlin, thank you very much for your uh, uh, welcome and your incredible service to this, uh, this community and this uh, great institution. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Kate and Peter for, uh, for uh, welcoming me uh, back to London. And I also want to highlight uh, the uh, local MP, uh, the NDP's uh, Irene Matheson, who uh, uh, wasn't able to be here today, but who sends her very, very best as well. I just wrapped up a really interesting tour for the Centre of Applied Transportation Technologies, where I got a chance to try my hand working on an engine with some very talented Fanshawe students. Uh, and I found out that as soon as I left the engine, it started up just fine. So uh, <laughs> their new workspace is very impressive, and I have no doubt these students are in great hands here. You know, I always enjoy touring schools like this and witnessing the kind of groundbreaking work they're doing. It really hammers home the importance of investing in students and supporting Canadian post-secondary institutions. And I'm really proud that just last month, our government unveiled a budget that will do just that. A cornerstone element of our plan for students involves an investment of $2 billion in labs and buildings on college and university campuses. Students need updated facilities and equipment in order to maximize their educational experience. We know this. As Canada's economy shifts toward high-skilled employment, it's more important than ever to make sure that new grads have the skills and training they need to meet the demands of the labour market. It's a wise investment in the infrastructure that supports our students' minds. To give more young Canadians greater access to good, well-paying jobs, our government will invest in training for unemployed and underemployed workers. We will also develop a new framework to support union-based apprenticeship training and work to expand co-op opportunities. On top of that, we will invest over $300 million over three years in the Canada Summer Jobs Program to create good jobs for up to an additional 35,000 young Canadians. Because all, because because we all know that education is a significant financial investment and summer jobs are a part of the saving process. Now, more than ever, it's important that education remains affordable and accessible, and young Canadians shouldn't be burdened by growing student debt right after graduation. Our plan is to make post-secondary education more affordable for students from low- and middle-income families, and we'll do this by boosting available grant funding by up to $1,000 a year for low- and middle-income students. This move puts more money in the pockets of 360,000 students across the country each and every year. De plus, nous aiderons les étudiants à rembourser leurs dettes après leur graduation. Nous sommes fiers de notre plan qui consiste à garantir que les étudiants qui obtiennent leur diplôme collégial ou universitaire commencent à rembourser leurs prêts étudiants seulement lorsqu'ils gagnent au moins 25 000 par année. Cette initiative les aidera à débuter leur carrière, elle leur permettra de souffler un peu et c'est la bonne chose à faire. J'ai confiance en les mesures que nous avons prises pour soutenir les jeunes Canadiens qui entrent sur le marché du travail. Des visites comme celle d'aujourd'hui me rappellent que c'est en investissant dans l'éducation et la formation des jeunes que nous investissons directement dans notre avenir. Investing in young people, investing in the extraordinary institutions like Fanshawe College that support them, making sure that education is more affordable, more accessible, making sure that you don't have to start repaying your Canada student loans until you're making $25,000 a year. These are all things that will not just give opportunities to students and young people, but give opportunities uh, to our communities to grow and our country's economy uh, to do better in the coming years. This is the commitment we made to Canadians in the last election. This is what we've put forward in this budget. This uh, is how we're going to continue uh, to work with Canadians to build a brighter future for all in the coming years. Merci beaucoup tout le monde.